All right, in episode number 21, I'm going to be showing you how to put a backdrop up on the wall using heavy duty double sided tape. You will need some tools, well, a tool. You'll need a roller for the big ones, the small ones you won't. Just because backdrops are so expensive, I decided I was going to test this idea of using double sided tape to put up a backdrop. So I got out my old box here, and of course, first thing you want to do is mark off where the backdrop's going to be. Once you have the outline drawn around where the backdrop's going to go, you put the double sided tape on, leaving the backing on it. You start off by taking the top of the backing off. Be very careful because it is real sticky. Now as you put the backdrop on you want to stretch it as hard as you can because they do droop and they do sag. You want to do this in a warm room because this backdrop will stretch if it gets heated up. After you get the top line on then you take the bottom line off making sure you don't allow it to touch until you want it to and then you stretch 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 stretch. That's why you're in a warm room because this stuff will stretch when it heats up. And then of course you push it on and there you have it. It's done. Well the test unit worked out really well. Let's move on to the real one now and see if I can make the real one look as good as this one. So now it's time to do a big one. I cut this backboard exactly to the right size of the backdrop so I didn't have to worry about marking it and of course I put the double sided tape on. Now I pull the backing off of the double sided tape along the top like we did on the last one. Now this corner is the most important part of putting this whole backdrop on. You have to get it straight and correct. This would be a lot easier with two but I'm just doing it by myself today. Then you start moving it across and remember to stretch, stretch, stretch. You want to keep it straight and you want to keep it really tight. You got to be in a warm or a hot room. Once you get it all the way across, just start tacking it on because you might have to move it. You don't want to get it real hard on yet. Now you take your roller and this is where you're having the hard attachment. You're pushing it onto that double sided tape. Of course we've only got the backing off the top so you flip the backdrop up and over the top like that. At this point you take the backing off a couple of the bottom center ones. This is going to be a pivotal point. You pull it nice and tight. Make sure you get all the bubbles out, all the wrinkles out. From here you're going to be working out tape up the corners, take your backdrop, uh, the backing off of the tape with the backdrop up and then of course you pull 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 get it nice and straight make sure you're in a warm or hot room because it will stretch. What you do next is make sure that all of those areas of the two-sided tape are well attached stuck on there. Of course now it's time to go over to the other side. Here I'm taking the backing off getting ready to pull it down and once again, pull, 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 stretch, stretch, stretch. Keep it as tight as you can as you're pulling it over and attaching it to the two-sided tape. Now you get your tool out again. I don't know what I'll ever do with this again, but it works just fine with these backdrops. And you roll it along so you don't get your fingerprints all over it. A lot of times these backdrops, the ink is fairly fragile, so you don't want to use your fingers to push too much. There are times where you might have to use your fingers, such as if you have a bubble. Now if you got a little bit of a bubble you got to work it around and move it up before you fully attach it to the double sided tape. Hey what do you think? It's really fast, it's really easy. It took me about oh 20 minutes to put this backdrop on. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this episode number 23. Come back and see me again here at Murphy's Welcome to My World. Had fun with your trains. Bye now.